Welcome. Welcome to the South Mountain, and today we're going to be talking about snow. Uh, our first snowfall of the winter is just starting now, and so I thought it would be a good time to talk about snow removal up here on the mountain. My situation is such that I live in an area where, because of the higher elevation, quite often we'll get snow, whereas when you go down the mountain, <clears throat> there'll be nothing. And so it's really important for us to have something where we can remove the snow from our driveway to make sure that we can get out as we need to. There's different options that you can have for snow removal. Of course, everybody knows you can get a snow blower, which works for many people. Um, if you have a larger area and have the money, you can get a fancy hydraulic plow, which many years ago I used year in and year out. A uh, hydraulic plow with the maintenance, the cost, really isn't something that I really need. And so about five years ago, I bought a uh, DR Ready Plow Plus, and this is not a sponsored video in any way, but what I want to do is show how if you live in an area like where I live, where you do get snow, where you need to be able to manage it, but you don't want the expense of a hydraulic plow, and also maybe because your driveway is gravel like mine is, a snow blower is not the best choice, then I just want to show you how the Ready Plow works for me. And it's kind of a, a middle choice between having a hydraulic plow, which can be quite expensive to buy and also to maintain, and then also just you trying to use a snow blower and being out there for many times hours upon hours trying to blow, snow blow your driveway in other areas. So I used to use a snow blower here, but because of the gravel driveway, it would just throw stones everywhere, and I gave that idea up. About five years ago, I bought a Ready Plow Plus. And like I said, I've been using it now for five years. For what I need, it works quite well. This is not a sponsored video. I in no way receive any funding from Ready Plow. All I wanna do is give you a review of what I've been using for the last five years to help remove the snow in my area. The first thing you have to have is a two inch hitch on the front, and I mounted this myself. It was really easy just to bolt on onto my uh, 18 year old uh, Tacoma here. And <clears throat> Mounting that on there, uh, like I said, was quite easy, and um, you have to have that because that's what you do. But the nice thing is, even in the summer, spring, fall, when you don't have this, the don't need to plow, you have a two-inch hitch on the front, which looks a little bit odd if you don't have something in it, and people will wonder why you have a hitch on the front of your truck. But um, I put this step bumper on the front here, and it actually is quite nice because what it does, it allows me to have extra protection to my bumper, but also if I need to work on my motor or something, it's very easy just to step up on here and get into it. So this is something I've had on here and it's quite handy. So what I'm gonna do now is just take off the step that I've had on here for the last nine months and uh, put the plow on so we can be ready for this snow that's coming our way. So it's really the same as if you did it in the back. Um, you just pull out the pin. And it slides right off. And then you just slide the plow. And then you just slide the plow mount in. So you can actually drive around in the winter time with this on the front. Just be careful, you know, with parking, such a thing. But I leave it on in the winter time um, when I'm not using the plow. So let me go grab the plow and you'll see how easy it is to put on. So I brought the plow down and it is quite lightweight. Um, you'd probably wonder how something so lightweight could actually work, but it actually works quite well. And we'll find out here after the snow is finished. So again, um, you have the two inch hitch that you put on the front, you have the mount, and then all you do is bring the plow down and it just pops right on. And if you drive anywhere location to location, just to keep Keep the plow on there. <clears throat> so you can see how 
that keeps the plow from coming off or anything like that. So if you have experience in the past with hydraulic plows, you'll see how simple this setup is. No hydraulics to uh, tilt the plow. We'll show that later. You pull the pin out, you manually tilt it, put the pin back in. The other way, put the pin back in. So it's manual, but again, it's because everything is so lightweight and easy to use. Um, it works really well for me. So like I said, I've had this now, oh, I guess I got it five years ago. And for what we do, it works perfect. Um, our area here, my driveway, what I need to plow, is not big enough to really to require a, a uh, expensive hydraulic plow from my truck. And actually, because this is just a 18 year old little Tacoma, Putting a hydraulic plow on this guy would just be overkill, too much weight for the front. So having this little plow works quite well for what I do. So as you can see, it's snowing now. And so we'll come back in a number of hours once the snow has accumulated and we'll give it a test run so you can see how it works. Well, the snow is finished and as happens so often up here in the Northeast, we got about five inches of nice fluffy snow before the rain started. And when the frozen rain started, came down, we got about, oh, maybe an inch of that rain. It just turns it into a, a mushy mess and actually makes it a lot harder to plow than if we just had nice fluffy snow. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna clean the truck off. We're going to, uh, plow it and see how this little plow can take care of it.
So as you saw this time, it was kind of a mixed result because the snow, it started out as snow and it turned into about an inch of freezing rain on top and it just turned it into mush as the temperatures got higher. And so in the past, like I said, I've had this for five years, when it was snow, I've had no problem pushing snow with this plow and hopefully we'll get a good snow within the next couple weeks and I can come back on and show you that. But with this ice, it's hard to push and on the hill, um, I usually push the snow up the driveway. The reason being, if I push it down the driveway, I have to push it on my yard. And that time, anytime I push it, even though I doesn't pick up a whole lot of gravel, it will pick up some gravel from the driveway, and then I end up having to sweep it back onto the driveway. So I always try to push it uphill on my driveway, so that way I can keep the pile of snow on the driveway. And then in spring, it's much easier because I don't have stones in my yard. So as you saw, this was mixed results with this ice. Trying to push it uphill, it just packs up so quickly, and it did it with this plow, would really do it with any type of plow, uh, unless you had a really heavy duty plow with and chains on the truck and so forth. I think you saw up on the driveway, the flatter part, it was pretty much no problem pushing that, even though it was extremely heavy, but trying to push it down here on the slope part, um, it's just extremely hard to do because of how, how heavy it is because of all the rain that we got on top of the snow. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just bringing my truck and I'm just driving over it. And as I drive over it, it just mushes it down. And this is probably the easiest way to uh, get it clear is just driving it over it with my truck because it's just too heavy um, to push it with the plow. So hopefully in a few weeks we'll get some real snow and I'll be able to come back out here and we'll do it again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it and subscribe to the channel, we'll be sharing more information here about living up on the South Mountain with more gardening, with hopefully in a few weeks if we get another snowfall, some photography with the wildlife around here as I'm watching the birds fly right now. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.